The 200 million deal is the biggest to date agreed by the new Somali government. The agreements are mainly development oriented, renovating roads, building new infrastructure and creating employment opportunities for young people. Some of these projects are already underway, others will commence soon. Some of the key aspects of the project include a 90-kilometer tarmac road linking Mogadishu to the agricultural towns of Johar and Afgoe. The deal comes amid a bitter standoff between Gulf nations. The United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Egypt have cut diplomatic ties with Qatar, accusing it of supporting terrorism, a charge the country has vehemently denied. Somalia was also among the first Muslim countries to maintain a neutral stance in that standoff between Qatar and its Arab neighbors. The country also opened its airspace to Qatar Airways Airlines after a land, sea and air blockade was implemented. Experts say this deal is Doha's ways of endorsing Mogadishu's approach to the Gulf Rift. I am thrilled to inform you that the Qatar Investment Authority is renewing its pledges to Somalia in terms of human development programs and economic growth. Other areas of focus are education and job creation for the youth. Meanwhile, the UAE is also a big investor in Somalia. It signed lucrative deals to rebuild ports in the Puntland and Somaliland regions in the country's north, hoping to turn these into transportation hubs for the Horn of Africa. And in October, Somalia received $50 million in aid from Saudi Arabia. After his election victory, President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmaju's first official state visit was to Saudi Arabia. Amid the ongoing Gulf dispute, Somali authorities have urged Arab nations not to interfere in the country's internal matters, calling for mutual respect and cooperation. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.